So they left California, they don't want to be in California, but I think the Texas humidity was something that was really hard to live with. Yes. They, they, they just looked at the politics, and the politics is dope. I love that there's more freedom here, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. But then they're like, holy f ah. the summers are really crazy. And then like the mosquitoes are insane. Sounds like a California man. We are weather wimps, dude. We are. We got it so good. Yeah, weather. So when you go anywhere else that has a little bit of a harsh condition, you're like, it's extreme. That's yeah. crazy. But dude, like. So Bart, you always talk about yes, sir. people leaving California. Mm -hmm. It's never going to I'm about to fact check your bitch ass. Yeah, tell me. Uh -huh. So, according to uh, South Bay uh, News from CBSNews.com. No one has ever heard of them before, but yeah. it's okay. California is seeing a sizable influx of new residents relocating from Texas. Makes sense. Why? Doesn't that just sound like people from California that moved Moving to Texas back. are coming back? That's what it sounds like to me. Oh, because they're like, man, Texas kind of. is ass. <laughs> you know, there's Honestly, they just you, they just did, did a uh, <laughs> survey on the three like biggest cities yeah. of people moving yeah. to. The first one's Sacramento. Really? Yeah, and then the second one or third one's Vegas, and then like the other one's Texas. Dude. Yeah, and Sacramento is all the people leaving San Francisco. Cause they're getting priced out, mm. so they're like, and we can work remote. So what's the next closest city? Sacramento. I, I thought that California saw the biggest, like within the past three years straight of people leaving the state. They yeah. did. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think over half a million people left. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But this is saying that they're coming back, or just saying people aren't so, just moving from Texas in general. So let me just get into the, to the data. Okay, so for, for more than a decade, the so-called Great California Exodus has seen residents leave the state in droves, like mostly because of the high cost of living. Yeah, for more than a decade. The pandemic obviously made it worse, basically created a focal point where everyone was like, I gotta just make a decision now, right? Yeah. So then hundreds of thousands of people leave to places like Washington State, Idaho. Idaho, Texas, yeah, Florida. Yeah. Montana was one. Yeah. Everywhere else. Utah. Everywhere, dude. Um, <laughs> Literally everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Anywhere that's cheaper, which is everywhere. Yeah. But then there are many people who are actually bucking that trend, making their way to the Bay Area from other states. And that's one reason why one woman they interviewed called Allison Hallis, she said she was excited to move her family to California because of the weather. It, which is that's true. The weather is amazing. It's amazing. Can't yeah. be. Which has made her daily walks with her dog, Whiskey, much more enjoyable yeah. than previously, right? She said, I wanted to take him on daily walks. She said, I love seeing all the tents and all the encampments. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't say that. And the, and, the, say and the nice weather, that's what she said. You can actually see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Can, can. The San Francisco yeah. shit. No, shit you're out. colluding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's collusion. All the cracked out that's people colluding. on yeah, the She's sidewalks. like, I love stepping in poop and big poops. And <laughs> oh, small I love poops. big poops. <laughs> <laughs> Eating poops, diarrhea poops. Yeah, I'm fine with it. She's yeah. like, as long as there are poops, I'm, I'm stepping in it and I'm happy. It's pretty cool that Target doesn't charge you for anything. Grab whatever you want, yeah. just leave. You, you can just take go. whatever yeah. you want. Yeah, she's she, well. She likes it when she goes to Target and then everything's behind glass. And then if she wants something, they smash her against the glass like a hockey player. And they're like, "Are you gonna fucking pay for it?" <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. That's a quote. That's yeah. customer service, baby. Yeah. yeah. Damn. She said yeah. it's gorgeous scenery. The weather is so nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And she got a, a job at a tech company in San Jose, so she doesn't have to deal with the reality. Oh. <laughs> She's really selling. Does she? Does oh. she like the? Uh, it takes an hour to go like two miles. She doesn't like it. She loves it. <laughs> she loves it. Oh, yeah. she loves it. Because she gets to listen to our podcast. I heard yeah. that California had like a major, I guess like. What do you call it? Exodus. Like flood? No, no. Um, <laughs> what do you call it when people come in? Immigration? Well, it's Influx. But it's within citizens. Right. Yeah. Influx, right? Influx. In the 19, like mid 1950s. Because mm -hmm. you know that song like California Dreamin' and all that yeah. shit, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess people would vacation to California from other states and they go, this is fucking nice. Like, we should move here. And then a lot of people came in droves and started like moving into California. Yeah. Wasn't, there, did. There, wasn't there also like a, that, that hippie 60s movement too? Where that's NorCal. Like, yeah, yeah. And, and that's the because of the, our thinking yeah. was like starting to change the whole like... Progressive? Yeah. yeah. Well in the records, in the 60s, this is, yeah, this is the only time that there's been a like people leaving. Yeah. yeah. So it's yeah. always it's been first time, people yeah. coming in. Yeah. Yeah, and then now people are leaving because they're like, oh, this is crazy. We've never been on the negative side until now. So you think California is over? Do you think it's no? I think it's, it goes in waves. It's like oh, it's good. Now it's bad. Then later it's gonna be good again. I kind of feel like California 
feels like it's too big to fail. Mm. So like even though Elon left, Toyota left, like a lot of these industries are leaving, like it still has a huge G GDP just as a state. Yeah. So like a lot of things still keep it really strong because there's the entertainment industry, which is kind of dwindling, but it's still a lot of money. Yeah. It's like, oh, boo-hoo, it's like less billions, but it's still a lot, right? Yeah. And then you have um, tech, you have a lot of farming, that's a really big one, that's probably not gonna go. So it's just, I think if you look at the state G GDP, it's like top 10 in the world. Yeah. So it could be its own country. Yeah, I think the scary part, so it does produce a lot, but the scary part is even though it produces a lot. Cost of living? Well, no, California technically is broke. Mm. Yeah, so right. even though they yeah. make a t shit ton of money, yeah. they have no the money. So the only way they can massive. they can only uh, get money is to tax its citizens or borrow. Yeah. So it feels like a choke yeah. on the citizens, and all the burden is like high sales tax, high property tax, high income tax. So it's yeah. like the citizens are getting fucking squished down yeah. because they mismanage the money. But See, like they have though. gas tax, which is kind of cool. That's really cool, <laughs> yeah. actually, That's dude. I fucking, I was getting gas for like $3 something in Vegas the other day. I filled up my truck right. with like 60 bucks. Yeah. There's, there's random you know, gas stations with the craziest prices like that. Dude, my dad was here because Thanksgiving, yeah. and when I was paying for Thanksgiving food, he was like, this is so cheap. He's like, I can't believe how cheap this is. Yeah, like go. milk's a dollar off, like a bunch of little things are just Did cheap. you know that, um, so I would think that San Francisco was the most expensive city, but they did a survey in San Diego. One of these areas in San Diego was the most expensive. Not, I don't think it's the main, it's like a city in, in San Diego's county. Uh, that's where my folks are, yeah. San Diego. But the reasoning is it's housing, it's groceries, it's just everyday, everything. The whole cost of living. Yeah. Cause like maybe San Francisco is just the housing and then like you can find cheap beats or whatever, right? right? But that's, it's like everything put together. It's like hell expensive. Yeah, so California is still seeing a net loss of rev residents per year to Texas, but the trend is kind of reversing. Like as far as the amount of Texans coming to California, it's increasing a little bit. Well, I wonder if they're true Texans or just Californians that are moving back. I think California's moving back. I met a couple of them um, uh, they said they moved during the pandemic. They're, they're the ones that actually ended up moving to Vegas. So they left California. They don't want to be in California, but I think the Texas humidity was something that was really hard to live with. Yes. Cause they, they, they just looked at the politics and the politics is dope. I love that there's more freedom here or whatever, whatever, whatever. But then they're like, holy fuck, the summers are really crazy. And then like the mosquitoes are insane. Sounds like a Californian man. We are weather wimps, dude. <laughs> we are. We got it so soft. good. Soft. Yeah, weather bitches. You know so when you go anywhere else that has a little bit of a harsh condition, you're like, it's extreme. That's yeah. crazy. But dude, like, I don't know how they do it. Cause to me, I bought a place. So it's like, I'm stuck. I am not, I'm a rider for Vegas now, dude. I don't care if it's, if there's a fucking tornado next to my house. <laughs> I bought a house here. Like this is how it is. I'm not gonna fucking leave because this is how it is. You could sell and move somewhere else just like how you did from California to Vegas. But Vegas doesn't really have natural disasters. I think it's just like, Super really fucking hot and dry. But dude, it's windy as shit. Yeah, it gets really windy. Wouldn't that be really funny? Yeah, but you've got a four walls to protect you. Yeah. Wouldn't that be funny if all the people coming from Texas are just the illegal people that jumped the border at the bottom? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that's been the plan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, look at all these guys. Oh, Texas coming back. Come on, do you, well, why do you think they're coming back knowing that it's still expensive? Is it really just the weather? I actually the people who can afford it, I think, will just yeah. go back. Yeah. They'll bounce yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I actually think, like, most people miss their family and friends. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, I don't really think it's, like, California and the taxes and all that. I think, like, moving out's probably cool in the beginning, but then you really feel it when you don't have your support network, when you don't have your normal like things yeah. that you're used to getting and whatever. And I think that's the biggest thing is like, it's hard to make friends as an adult and it's hard to make like new groups and you know, all that stuff, especially cause everyone's busy and they already have their groups. And I, and I noticed that the most from people that are like moving to different states. I, had, uh, I always love to interview my, my Uber drivers or Lyft drivers when I come back to Cali just to see like lay of the land like what are people going through and shit and this lady was telling me yesterday she's like i and it's the same stories every time it's yeah. like i can barely get by yeah. i have i have i have to do like three jobs to even afford they just list. want you to tip more probably probably <laughs> giving you a sad <laughs> they make more money than I'm you <laughs> no <I'm> but, <laughs> but then she was telling me she's cuban she's like i'm cuban uh, and like my family came here from communism and she's like 
this this is the start of what communism was in Cuba, oh, according yeah, to her parents. And I hate hearing that. Like, I yeah, know, it scares the shit out of me. Yeah, that scares me. Yeah, according to her own parents. She's like, if my dad was alive right now, she's like, I'm glad my dad is dead. Because if he was alive right now, it would kill him. Oh, yeah, fuck. I hate hearing that. That comparison's very popular from people. Isn't it crazy how a man. lot of people who ran away from communist countries, they know the warning signs and they're like, you guys gotta stop. And then no one listens to them. No. Dude, she was telling me, she's like, think about it like this. She's like, we just raised a whole generation of kids went to know or believe that if the government tells you you have to stay in your home, you do, and it's normal. Whereas, like, she's like, my generation, She's like, you talk to Cuban people. She's like, we were a, no way. Fuck you. You you can't keep me in my house. Actually, I know what my rights are, but they're not teaching these kids their rights. And I was like, damn, that's deep shit. Wow. I so was she like protesting? Wow. And, and was she, she was saying like, she wasn't complying with any of it. She uh, said, I never stayed inside. I always did my own shit. I feel like it's even worse because here the 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 government didn't even need to do it after a while. Other people did it for them. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. dude. Well, I had haters in my DMs like saying you're the reason why like yep. people are dying and all that shit and it's because i was filming like i was at my friend's farm and i was in the back of a pickup truck and i was vlogging outside, outside <laughs> with no mask on at a farm in a fucking farm <laughs> around Giving nobody to grandmas everywhere yeah literally <laughs> and then that's the reason why i'm you know i'm fucking right. spreader number one dude so she told me she's like in cuba they have snitches on every neighborhood, in every neighborhood, there's snitches, yeah. and they're they're supposed to make sure that you're compliant with whatever the government is saying yeah. to do. Yeah. And if they hear, and if the snitch hears that you're not complying, or like if you have an item in your house, she said they they would come into the into her house and they would make sure that they have Damn. all their items, nothing contraband, like nothing that they're not supposed to have. Wow. So she yeah. said that she said that her mom hated the communists so much that when they were on their way to like to immigrate to America. The communists were so pissed that she, that they were able, she was like getting a visa from America to leave, that they ended up, um, her mom would take the pressure cooker that they had and she would put it over the fence because it actually worked. Every day she would put it over the fence so that when they came into her house to catalog all the items in her home, they would never know she had this pressure cooker just so they couldn't have it when she left and she gave wow. it to her fucking neighbor. Wow. Wow. It's crazy shit. Damn, they catalog your cooker. items? Yeah, they catalog all your items That's every day. Fuck. Yeah, and she said that they, and like she, like I was saying, the snitches, she, so she had a snitch, right? And, snitch and bitch. One of, so she said that her, her daughter would wear the same pair of shoes every day because you only get issued like a pair of shoes and if you want to, to get a new pair of shoes, you have to get like a, basically a, a ticket from the school principal that says, I can go get a pair of shoes now and then you take it to a store and then you hope that the store has those shoes. Because wow, you're in communism. Shit. And then she's like, yeah, so she's like, my daughter, um, we kept on resoling her shoes and they got the leather got so bad that I went to the principal and I was like, can, can I please get a ticket so that I can get my daughter more oh shoes? My and the principal said, have your daughter go to school for a week barefoot and then what? I'll consider giving you a ticket. Crazy. And she said, like oh. hell, I will not, I'll screw you. Like I, my daughter's not going to school barefoot. I have pride and that's my daughter. Damn. So then she said she pulled her daughter out of school. And if in communist Cuba, she said, if you, um, if your kid doesn't go to school for three days, that um, somebody in your area is supposed to report that your kid didn't go to school, right? So the principal tells the snitch in her neighborhood, hey, she didn't come to school. And then the snitch happened to be getting helped by her mother, right? Her mother was the only person in her neighborhood who could inject um, the the snitch's mom with like a certain thing to keep her alive, and she kept on. She did it three wow. times a day. So Jeez. she said the snitch, in a corrupt way, wouldn't tell on on her because wow. then she'd be screwed and then he'd be screwed. Right. Corruption yeah. to her benefit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But most Wild. of those wow. corrupt countries, you Ooh. have to play different corrupting like to to go around it. Yeah, yeah, but who wants to live like that, right? That's, like, that's why everybody's like, yeah. Slater. Do you where think California is ever gonna get to a level where people, like the government has that much control over your life? I, I don't know because we think, still yeah. operate under heavy commerce. Like yeah. those kind of com communist countries, like they don't op they don't have goods and services that we do, right? So at the end of the day, like it will be a different form yeah. because they still need the sheep to buy and consume. So like 
it wouldn't get to that point because a lot of companies and factories and whatever, like they, America in general, operate on that. What I think it will be is they already did a good job during COVID killing mom and pop. Yeah. It'll just be corporate. It'll be big yeah. corporate, corporate oligarchy. Yeah. Centralized power. It's, yeah. I think they will, but it's covert. It's yeah. just like how Gavin Newsom's the only person who uh, did a mandate so children had to take the vaccine. No other state did that. Yeah. And But then we didn't even see it like that. We were just like, okay, I mean, it's already that bad. It's just one more thing. But then people were for that. Yep. Yeah. And he had pride in that. Yep. <laughs> and then rescinded it. And then now it's like children shouldn't. They don't need it to be healthy. It's like, it's even, And even right now in Canada, I think they can't see anyone else's news now. Like if you go on Instagram or whatever, they could only see, because they have the censorship laws, so they could only see Canada outlet news. So you're like, oh, I want to see what the Whoa. American perspective or what the UK perspective, you'll go and, and just kind of like how you, when you're in another country and you're trying to watch Netflix, you're like, yeah. oh, your Netflix doesn't operate here. It's like that. You wow. cannot view this news here. So they're only getting Canada fed news. Yeah. Which is crazy. Because it's harmful. The, the independent media was harmful yeah. up there, they, they determined. <laughs> which is happening in Ireland right now after the firebombing, right? You guys heard about that? We haven't seen each other for two months. No, I haven't seen that one. But the, um, they, they basically, they ended up, um, a bunch of Irish uh, people, and there's a, a, there was a stabbing, right? This, this guy like stabs a young girl, and he happened to be a, a migrant who, who came into Ireland. Oh, and then all the Irish people basically firebombed this hotel where a lot of those migrants were at. And the government was like, this is a hate act. So now we have to basically filter filter all the information that everyone's getting in Ireland and there's a huge centralized power grab for that information Canada style what you're talking about I heard that oh, um, when there was an issue with like just flooding in a lot of the migrants in the Scandinavian country I forgot which one it was but it was like they didn't do a good job of checking like who they were Dang. what their paperwork is if they were criminals or cons or whatever and then so they just let them loose and then they were going out there committing crimes, robbery, rape, whatever, but the country was trying to keep it shh, right? So anyone that like reported it or talked about it, they were actually considered racists. Right. So then they shut shut them down because they, they were just like, okay, how do we fix this? Because they were like, we didn't do a good job, but we can't look stupid, right? right. So it's kind of wild where like, they rather let a serial killer on the loose and tell everybody be quiet rather than like hey guys there's a serial killer on the loose you guys you guys need to go out there and fucking fix it because they don't want to look incompetent right yeah they don't want to trace back to them and yeah like, oh why didn't you vet this guy yeah. it's not to say migrants are all like racks and murderers and killers but it's just like if the government didn't do a good job of filtering and processing and they just let any fucking no, person yeah. in. Like they don't want to take accountability. Well, yeah. The migrants themselves are also at risk from that individual living and in the building. And that's what typically <laughs> happens in yeah. every single like refugee situation. We saw it with like the Vietnamese immigrants and everybody. The criminals prey upon the their group. Yeah. Like it always happens. Well, and they prey upon the good hearts of of, na of good natured people. Yeah, yeah like wokey mamas. Yeah, wokey mamas. <laughs> wokey mamas. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding news, careful boys, is a brand. Just kidding news is the man of smart people. The people of Just kidding news, careful boys, they are very smart. Just kidding news, the number one podcast in the world.